Welcome back to an introduction to basic concepts of maintenance and reliability. In the last lecture, we introduced you to the total productive maintenance system. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the eight pillars of total productive maintenance. The eight pillars of total productive maintenance actually represent the eight implementable practices that will bring the TPM change. These eight pillars are focused improvement, planned maintenance, quality maintenance, autonomous maintenance, early equipment management, administrative and office TPM, education and training, and finally, health, environment, and safety. Now let us take a brief overview of each of these eight pillars to understand what they are about. The first pillar, that is focused improvement, is translation of the Japanese term Kobetsu Kaizen. You may have heard the term Kaizen before. Kaizen is a Japanese philosophy of improvement in and of itself. It refers to the technique of improving processes by making such changes which do not require a lot of money. For example, rearranging workstations in an assembly line can improve the cycle time by a large margin without having any significant cost. It is because you haven't brought in a new equipment or material, you have just rearranged the existing ones. Similarly, making worker table heights adjustable by using a screw jacks in a sewing factory has a very low cost, but it may improve production time by a great margin. It is these types of changes that Kaizen refers to. The first pillar of TPM is focused Kaizen. You isolate a process or equipment. You apply Kaizen over it. You see in which ways can you improve the process without having to spend too much money. This is what the first pillar is all about. The second pillar of total productive maintenance is planned maintenance. It simply refers to having a proper preventive maintenance program in place. It will involve having a maintenance calendar and proper setup for maintenance planning and scheduling. The third pillar of total productive maintenance is quality maintenance. The concept is that various defects in equipment tend to translate into defective products. There are many problems in machines that do not cause any breakdown but certainly cause loss in output quality. The third pillar, that is quality maintenance, drives the maintenance team to address such issues. It is to ensure that defective product is not produced in the first place. It is about quality ingrained in the equipment instead of having an external quality control officer reject bad products. Conclusively, the third pillar emphasizes the importance of maintaining the equipment such that quality defects are never produced in the output product. The fourth pillar that is autonomous maintenance is one of the most important pillars of total productive maintenance. It is also one of the most revolutionary. Historically, operators were just supposed to run the machines and report any issues to the maintenance guys. Operators did not have any maintenance related responsibility. This pillar of total productive maintenance changes this mindset. It says that operators are supposed 
to perform basic maintenance on the machines they operate. This basic maintenance generally includes cleaning, lubrication, and operational checks. Total Productive Maintenance says that operators must be given greater responsibility of the machines they operate. It creates a greater sense of ownership in them and improves equipment reliability. Autonomous maintenance is also known as operator-based maintenance or OBM. It is a concept used even where total productive maintenance may not be fully implemented. Kilt is another important term to remember in this context. It is abbreviation for clean, inspect, lubricate, and tighten. It represents tasks of autonomous maintenance that operators are supposed to conduct out on their equipment. Early equipment management is the fifth pillar of total productive maintenance. It is also one of the unique and interesting pillars. The concept of early equipment management is that no matter how competent the engineering team of a machine is, there will always be more to learn about the machine when it is put into use. Early equipment management is all about making a cycle of knowledge to improve the design of a piece of equipment. It refers to making a setup where data and information of the machine in operation is shared with the people who work in design and development of that machine. This data and information will allow the design and development team to become aware of the lessons learned about the machine in service. It will allow to make improvements in the machine so that defects are eliminated before the machine is even manufactured. Since you are channeling knowledge from the service life of a machine to manage early equipment design, that is why it is called early equipment management. The sixth pillar of total productive maintenance is administrative and office TPM. It refers to the concept that it is not only the factory floor and equipment that needs the total productive maintenance philosophy. The lessons of total productive maintenance are also applicable in removing slack from office and administrative work and improve its productivity. The seventh pillar of total productive maintenance is about education and training. Like any philosophy of improvement, total productive maintenance also emphasizes the importance of right training and education to the right people. Engineers, technicians, and other maintenance personnel must be given state-of-the-art trainings to equip them with latest knowledge and a skill set. Finally, the eighth pillar of total productive maintenance is about health, safety, and environment. Like any other good maintenance philosophy, total productive maintenance also puts emphasis on health safety of maintenance workers as well as preservation of environment. It involves having a setup for ensuring proper use of personal protective equipment and safety gear. It also includes environmental factors such as tracking carbon footprint where applicable and having proper disposal SOPs for hazardous waste. By implementing the teachings of these eight pillars of total productive maintenance, you would improve the productivity of your overall maintenance. Resultantly, you will get closer to the promise of total productive maintenance. What is that promise? Maximum overall equipment effectiveness through zero defects and zero accidents.
With this, we conclude our discussion on total productive maintenance. See you in the next lecture.